Hello everyone and welcome back to Strategically Small. Everyone has been asking me for the tour of my studio tiny house, so here you guys have it. I'm gonna give you a tour so you can just get a sense as to how life is living in a small space. Again, my studio apartment is 355 square feet. So as you walk in the door, the kitchen is right here on the left-hand side. It's a very good sized kitchen for this space. I cook a lot, uh, pretty much every day. So I'm very happy with the counter space that I have here. And there's a good number of cabinets. So I have some storage space for the spices and plates and all of that. And the bar area, of course, also doubles as a desk area. So everything in a tiny house must be multifunctional, okay? Now, the kitchen area overlooks the main living area. And of course, here I have the sofa bed, which is the main piece in this area. And it doubles as a sofa and a bed. And the bookcase that's next to the plant is sort of miscellaneous right now. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with that. Um, now, as you remember, I got the inspiration for my closet from this video on Never Too Small channel. I will link it below. But I pretty much did the same thing, except I split my curtain down the middle because my TV is in the middle. So I made that area the TV area and then my desk underneath. So yeah, you can design it however you would like, what makes sense for the space, okay? Now we're moving into the washer dryer area that leads into the bathroom, okay? Um, now, sorry, everything is not exactly perfectly neat. I just wanted to show you the realistic view of how it looks on a daily basis. So here's the bathroom. Uh, it, this is a very nice bathroom. I'm very happy with the construction here. Um, that little bottle in the corner there with the light is just black soap, liquid black soap. So <laughs> don't freak out. All right, so this is the full space of the tiny space. And of course, I do have a small balcony area, which I didn't show in this video because the sun was shining so bright, it was very hard for me to film with the curtains open. So those two cushions that you see in the corner on top of the bookshelf, those are actually for the patio chair that's outside. So let's talk about the sofa bed. So as you remember, the sofa bed was a design that I had a Rwandan make using this IKEA sofa bed design, okay? They use this exact model. Um, it also has the storage underneath as you can see here. And I'm gonna show you all of that in just a second. And then it folds out into the full bed. So this was the inspiration behind my design. And I was very happy that I was able to find someone who did the exact design right here in Rwanda, because there's no Ikea here. So you have to have someone make it locally. So when it's time for me to pull out the full sofa bed, I typically just roll up the carpet as you see me doing here and I put the ottoman off to the side so that I'm able to pull out this bottom section. So it's very quick and simple. You just roll out the bottom piece and then you pull it up and it folds out into the full bed size. And from there, I then put some foam mattress on top and I make my bed. Now I chose to do a sofa bed because as you can see, my space is quite long and narrow. So a Murphy bed was not gonna be the best option because if I had a Murphy bed, then I would not have a lot of space for the sofa. And I need a sofa just to lounge on during the daytime. So this to me resolved that, having a sofa bed resolved both problems. However, I do like Murphy beds a lot. So if you have a studio or you're living in a tiny space, check out the Murphy beds. So here we are, this is the setup for the bed after I put everything together. I just have some Rwanda foam pieces that I got cut at the factory and I just throw a sheet over it and I have my pillows and a blanket and basically that's it. Uh, this is the storage space where I keep the Rwandan foam right inside there. So when it's not in the bed form, I will just put the foam back underneath there and convert it back to the sofa. But as you can see, very simple. It takes a few seconds to set up and the Rwandan foam is extremely comfortable. So I'm very happy with this setup. So this is how it looks at nighttime. And as you can see, it's directly across from the TV. So I have movie nights. I can watch whatever I would like to during the evening. 
and it's just a perfect setup. I really love how I designed this space so that it makes multifunction of everything. And that TV actually pulls out so that when I'm in the kitchen area, I can also view the TV very easily. Also, if I just wanna lounge on the full setup during the day, I can just pull out the piece and I just put it here and I could just sprawl out fully on this big couch. So I love a good deep couch and sometimes I do this if I'm working, if I'm watching a movie and it's just perfect. So I'm showing you here, this is how I fold it back down to convert it back into the sofa. It slides right underneath very easily. And here we are back to the sofa setup. So I love this sofa bed. I think it's very well designed. And you may be asking me, well, sis, I don't see a desk. Uh, where do you work? So there's several places that I can work. So here's one of the setups where I can do some work. This is very easy. I just use this little ottoman in the middle for my little desk. Then I have, of course, the bar area, which is another great space to work. You can do a lot of activities on the computer here on this large bar area. And remember that I said all furniture pieces must be multifunctional. So this is a makeshift desk that I've made out of the bar stool. I just put one of the wooden slabs on top and this is perfect height for me as I'm sitting there on the sofa. This is one of my favorite options for a desk. And of course, this option here is right underneath the TV. So I have a computer stand there. The ottoman serves as a chair here, and it's great. I really like to be flexible, move around a lot, especially when you're in a small space. So you have to make things work. And this is another favorite spot where I get work done. This larger pillow helps me to balance my laptop very easily. So I just sit here on the side of the sofa and I get work done. And the ottoman itself also serves as a footstool or a ladder of sorts so that I can reach the higher areas of the closet and get what I need from on top those high areas. This beautiful mirror I purchased from Wood Habitat right here in Rwanda. I'll link that video below if you haven't checked it out. And in this space here, I would like to build a shoe rack storage bench, something like what's in this picture here, where it just has like two or three shelves underneath that I can just slide my shoes in there. And then on top, it has space for me to sit down and maybe put a plant, you know, just something very nice right underneath that large painting that I have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick tour of my small space. It was quick because my space is so tiny. So in the next video, I'm going to be talking about the challenges of living in a very small space. Talk to you soon. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. Bye.